Good day grade 11s, welcome to week 19. In this lesson we're going to be looking at some basic trig equations. The first one says determine the values of theta for theta is between 0 and 360 degrees. So, and the equation is 4 cos theta equals 2. So we've got that cos theta, because we want to solve for this first, is going to be 2 divided by 4. Therefore we know that cos theta is equal to 0 0.5. So therefore we're going to use our calculators, whip them out and we're going to say okay fine cos theta in order to get 0.5, we, in order to get the angle what do we have to do? We have to go second function cos, so we're going to go shift cos of bracket 0.5 close bracket and it gives us 60 degrees. So therefore cos theta, sorry, for therefore theta is equal to 60 degrees. But grade 11, so this is what's called a reference angle. It's called a reference angle and it is 60 degrees. That is the smallest, that's the acute angle that will give us a value of cos theta to be 0.5. I want you to think about quickly the cos graph. I'm going to draw it here. This is 1 at 90 we're at 0. At 180 we're at minus 1. At 270 we're back at 0. And at 360 we're back at 1. So if I had to draw a line cutting across at cos theta equals 0. 0.5 it would be like this. So do you see that we've got two places here where cos theta equals a half and we know that the first one is 60 degrees but how do we find out what the second one is and this is what the cost diagram is really useful for as well. So if we draw the cost diagram we know that it's all stations to Cape Town. This is our reference angle, it's in the first quadrant so we're saying that if we had 60 degrees here, our cos of 60 would be adjacent, which is 1, over hypotenuse, which is 2. That's what we say. But we also know from the cos, from the cos diagram that cos is positive in the fourth quadrant. So we know that if we went down by 60 degrees, in other words, if we went minus 60 degrees, we would end up with exactly the same ratio of 2 over 1 for our cos. But we know that cos of minus theta is the same as cos of 360 minus theta. And in this case theta is 60 degrees. Therefore this is also true for 360 minus 60 degrees which equals 300 degrees. And that's that point there. Therefore when they just ask us to determine the values for theta for which this is equal to a half, we would have for theta equals 60 degrees or 300 degrees. Okay, not too bad, hey. Let's do another example. So the first thing we're going to do is solve for alpha, tan alpha. So we go tan alpha is negative 1.4 divided by a half. And what do we do when we divide by a fraction? We tip in times. So we've got tan alpha is equal to negative 1.4 times by 2, which is negative 2.8. Now, grade 11, in the last lesson, I started talking about a thing called a reference angle. And that is your acute angle that tells us the size of this angle depending on the ratio of the sides. So what does that mean? That means that what I want to do is I'm going to go second function, second function tan of the positive 2.8 just to find the size of the angle and once I've done that I'm going to use this negative to decide which of my quadrants I'm going to be in. So let's do that on our calculator. So we're going to go shift tan bracket 2.8 close bracket equals 70.35. So therefore the reference angle is 70.35 degrees. That is the size of the acute angle. But grade 11s we know that it has to be a negative. So therefore it has to be in which quadrants? It has to be in the second quadrant 
and the fourth quadrant. So the size of the angle there, the acute angle that this is making is 70.35 and the size that this angle is making over here is also 70.35. But we know that we are supposed to be measuring our angles always from the zero. So we're going along there. So to get the size of that angle, we're actually looking at 180 degrees minus 70.35 degrees. Or we're looking at, if we go all the way around, we're looking at 360 degrees minus 70.35 degrees. So let's pop those into our calculator again. So we've got just 180 minus 70.35 and that gives us 109.65 degrees, 109.65 degrees or we've got 360 360 minus 70.35 and that gives me 289.65 289.65 degrees therefore the values of this that are true for this are 109.65 and 289.65 right let's look at this one it says determine the values of theta for theta is between minus 360 to 360 so you need to be careful of your range when you're doing this for 3 tan theta equals 20. So first of all, as always, we're going to get our tan theta by itself. So our tan theta is just 20 divided by 3. To be more accurate, I'm going to leave it like that. I'm not going to change it into any type of fraction, I mean decimal. And I'm going to go tan negative of 20 over 3 is going to equal my theta. And what am I doing? I'm finding my reference angle. So we pop this in our calculator and we go second function tan of bracket 20 divided by 3 close bracket and we end up with 81.47. So our reference angle is 81.47 degrees. So then if we again draw our cast diagram and we've got all stations to Cape Town. We know that tan is positive in the first quadrant, so therefore that angle there is going to be 81.47, but it's also positive in the third quadrant. So that there, that little angle there is going to be 81.47 degrees. So therefore our angle so far is 81.47 but now remember what did I say? I said we have to always, always, always read this from the zero line. So we're going all the way along. So that becomes 180, let me write it here, 180 plus 81.47. So my next number is going to be 47. 1 and 0 is 1, that's a 6 and that's 2. So it's 261.47. Point four seven. That is my next angle. Now if I added another 360 to that, I would go above my 360. So that's it. We can't do anything else with that. But now we have to go backwards. So that you realize that if we go 81.47 and we subtract 360, we're just going back 360 degrees to exactly where we were and we'll end up exactly the same size angle. So in this time I'm going to go 360, sorry let's try again, I'm going to go 81.47 minus 360 because this time I'm going back along the number line, I'm going to the left. So in that case I'm going to be going 81.47 minus 360 and that gives me minus 278.53. So minus 278.53. Now I'm also going to do 261.47 minus 360 because this line is valid as well and if I go around 360 I'm going to get back to the same place. So if I do that on my calculator I will do 261.47 minus 360 and we end up with minus 
0.53. So we end up with minus 98.53. Am I finished grade 11? So no, I'm not. And why am I not finished? I'm not finished because the period of a tan wave is actually 180 degrees and I've been subtracting by 360 but I've missed out on some of mine. Okay, let me explain what I'm talking about. If I had to draw a tan graph, okay, we know it goes to 90 and we've got minus 90 and then we've got 270 and we've got minus 270 and then it goes on to minus 360 and it goes on to 360 and if I draw my tan graph it looks more or less like that and that's your 180 so it looks more or less like that and then it goes up and then it goes more or less like that and then it goes like that. Now 20 divided by 3, let's just pop that in our calculator 20 divided by 3 is 6.67. So 6.67 grade 11s. If I drew a line across here, we across here, do you see that we have got, let's just check now that we've got this right, we have got four points. One, two, three, four. And let's just check if they're right. There's one, two, three, four. So, do we have one that's 81.47? That's nice. Do we have one that's just before 270? Yes. Do we have one that's just past this? Yes, we do. And do we have one which is over here? Yes, we do. Yay, we're now happy that we have got all our values of theta from minus 360 to 360. So, you need to be aware of how many values you should be looking at in your thing and it depends on whether you're looking at a tan graph or if you're looking at a sine graph or cos graph because of the fact that your tan graph has got a period which is half of your sine or cos. Right, grade 11s, that's it for equations in the next in the next lesson we'll do general solutions. Please go practice, practice, practice and then do assessment at the end of the section.